Well, here we are. It's the 2010 Europe Cup final. Alba Berlin and Power Electrics Valencia are the two teams that have made it after months of competition that we've covered for you here on Eurosport 2. The cultural entertainment is just about to finish and we'll get a chance to see the, the decisive game of the 2010 Europe Cup season. Thousands of supporters have made the trip from Valencia. Hundreds have made it from Berlin in spite of the travel problems. And with me tonight is Mick Bett. This is the Valencia roster, Mick. What a performance yesterday. Is it just the Colo and uh, Nielsen, or who else stands out for you? Well, Mark, uh, thank you very much. This is a great event tonight. You see there, the, as you said, the roster for Valencia. It's an all-round team, isn't it? Thomas Colati came off the bench last night, hit uh, three three-pointers. Matt Nielsen hit three three-pointers. What worries me from last night's game is they took a lot of threes. I mean, they come into today's game thinking exactly the same thing. It's not going to work that way. You cannot step on the floor and make 16 for 29 for the three-point line every night. It's not going to happen. So tonight, they have to get the, the grounded right the fundamentals in the lane and get a lot of good two-point shots. Well, the team that's going to be trying to stop that Valencia offense is these guys from, from Alba Berlin. A great team performance. Okay, Adam Chubb led them with points last night, but with Jenkins and Golmack getting back on the floor, this team was really deep last night and played such a disciplined game of basketball. Well, you know, the, the, the unsung hero, Adam Chubb, stepped to the party, didn't it? Rashad Wright, Julius Jenkins, everything really revolves around those two players. And Blagota Sekulic comes into the game average in double figures, has two for the game last night. So it needed somebody to step into the party, and Adam Chubb was the man. Well, Adam Chubb had 29 points last night, led his team in uh, in all sorts of ways. His uh, performance, his work ethic on defense as well was absolutely phenomenal. Let's not underestimate either. Let's, let's highlight them for a second. We're gonna get a chance to hear them soon, Mick. Uh, what, what a job both coaches have done to keep their teams focused all year and then produced them last night to come up with those performances. Well, I think one of the things that stands out for both coaches, uh, Pavicevic and Spahia, is the attention to detail. They're very, very focused gentlemen. They are, as Martin Henlon said earlier on, the up-and-coming young coaches. All four coaches of this tournament, Zuras, Ketsikaris and Spahia and Pavicevic, are tomorrow's uh, superstars of the big teams around Europe. Wow, that's... Uh... We always give the recognition to the coaches here on Eurosport 2 that, because these guys have done a great job. We saw Coach Pasavic being interviewed uh, last night after the game. His attention to detail and his focus on being disciplined. And if his team is disciplined today, I believe they could come up and perform at the level they did last night. And they could cause an upset because there's not been uh, their words here. Valencia are, are major favourites with everybody. Bookmakers and everyone think Valencia are the favourites tonight. Yeah, and I think the one thing that goes for Alba Berlin, they're very steady at the point guard position. They're coming in uh, with uh, very few turnovers to their name. And uh, McElroy, um, Jenkins, and uh, the, the Rashad Wright really do dominate things as far as taking care of the ball. And that will be something that Valencia will, will have to worry about as the game progresses. It's not going to be a Panellini's team that comes in with a lot of fouls and is Lenzi going to go to the free throw? It's a thinking man's game and I think Pavicevic might have the team to cause the upset. Well, if, uh, I'm expecting this one to be a really, really close one. And the thing that really sticks out for me with this Alba Berlin team is the fact it's a team. They are so together as a unit. They will always, always do whatever it takes. Their coach has really instilled that in them. They've already wrapped up the German league. This is bonus time here for Alba Berlin. A place in the Euro, Euro League awaits them if they win this. Uh, some recognition here on the t-shirts of uh, UNICEF and the relationship there with the uh, Euro League. We saw the CEO talking uh, courtside there with Robbie. What a great job this organization has done to take European basketball to just new heights. Well, this whole competition is uh, just climbing in uh, in stature every year. I mean, the EuroLeague is the pinnacle for all these teams. Of course, the winner takes that berth next year. But this competition is gaining uh, notoriety around Europe, for sure, and uh, in far reaches around the world, too, thanks to Eurosport, too. Well, here we go with the individual annou announcements for the teams. And Valencia coming out first. 
the big man there, Kosta Perovic, had a great game yesterday. I don't think he's going to get the same amount of uh, impact that he had yesterday. One of the guys that was really quiet for Valencia yesterday was Victor Klaver. What a talent that man is. Young man of the year for Europe, Europe Cup basketball. He's got to step up, Mick, surely. Well, does he, ha does he have to step up? There's plenty of players around him, and the job got done without him last night. You say he had a, a quiet game, but he was there. He was uh, a presence. He had the ball in his hands, and he took some tough shots down the lane, down the end of the game, too. Well, the, uh, the last, uh, one of the last guys coming out there is Matt Nielsen. He really is the, uh, the heart and soul for me of this lineup. Oh, well, you'd take Matt Nielsen's uh, first pick in the playground, wouldn't you? The bruiser. <laughs> I mean, there's no doubt about it. He, uh, he is everything for this. I mean, we talk about it when he plays to, used to play for Vilnius in the old days of the ULEB Cup. This man can play, and he's, as he said, he is everything for this team. Well, Coach Spaha has got his team. They're in, the, they're in full place at the moment in the ACB. Favorites to lift this competition now, but this is the team that is on a crest of emotion uh, with their coach instilling a belief that they can lift this Europe Cup title. And the first man out, Derek Byers, summed it up for me yesterday. The passion he showed it with his defensive effort, the offense he brought to this team, really summed up the way that they as a unit perform. And let's not forget, they're German players, Mick. Stefan Hamann always makes a massive contribution. They get contributions all the way down their bench. Well, they don't have too many German players in the team. They've got five Americans from uh, U.S. colleges out there, and there's, uh, there's one of them walking onto the floor right there. Uh, Jenkins followed by Wright. Uh, but, Mark, I think the biggest shame about this tournament is the German fans couldn't follow their team, could they? Uh, yeah. And uh, they had to pack out the O2 Arena to watch it live back in Berlin. Uh, it's just a sad, uh, sad coincidence that's contrived to make this uh, a great party for the Alba Club but not shared by many fans traveling. Well, uh, talking about the, uh, talking about the uh, problems with the try, to spare a thought for our Eurosport 2 uh, colleague, Roy Birch, who's stuck as well abroad. And, uh, hey, well, wait a minute, Roy's sitting on the beach, don't we? <laughs> don't feel sorry for Roy. Well, let's not feel too sorry for him, because that gives us the chance here to be privileged enough to commentate on one of the highlights of the European basketball season the Europe Cup final and we're going to get a chance to speak to coach Spaha from Valencia let's see his thoughts just before the start of this game coach Spaha courtside with Danny completely different styles of basketball the final is going to be really really interesting of course like we said yesterday it's going to be a tough game both of team uh, different philosophy of the basketball mentioned that word Mick defense ah a wonderful word and my admiration for coach Bahia wearing the orange tie you know I used to play for a team that used to play in orange and it's not it's hard I'm telling you <laughs> it's it is tough tough finding someone to match up with orange every night well he's uh, he's a man who's got a few suits and shirts that will go with his orange and uh, but again how important because last night they just outscored uh, their opposition. The guy who they've got to outscore tonight is Luka Persejevic and what a performance his team put up last night. His thoughts now are going to be courtside again with Danny and I'm, I'm sure he's going to be focusing on defense too and uh, he's one of the guys he's got to stop. We're just going to get uh, coach uh, Persejevic uh, lined up to speak to Danny courtside and uh, get a chance to hear what uh, what he thinks. It's going to be quick. I know it's going to be quick because he's one of the most focused coaches I've ever seen. Here he is, called side. Where is going to be the key of the game? I have to ask you again. What was the question? <laughs> What's going to be the key of the game? The key. Well, for us, the key is to, again, discipline the game into the moment that we don't allow of Valencia to take over. They are very talented and have many options in offense. For us, we will have to work patiently and properly offensively, not to allow them transitions. And we will have to be ready to protect ourselves on the main aspects of their inside game, pick and roll game, and screen game for the shooters. Thank you very much and good luck. Well, in a very short question and a very, very detailed answer, and that sums his team up. His attention to detail is what makes him the coach he is. Well, what a, what a great coach, and uh, the only problem is I'm not sure he'd be very good on the good night out, would he? So, <laughs> a, bit, uh, 
a bit serious for me at times. He could lighten up a bit, but I'm no way uh, rude with Shasta George Avis because George Avis obviously would lighten the mood on those uh, trips <laughs> with the national team abroad. But what a great coach! What a great job he's done with his club. And you know, it, it's coaches that make teams. I mean, you talk about players making the shots, but you know, you have to give the coach, the players, the confidence to play. And I think uh, Pavicevic puts a discipline in, in in this team that they all respond to and they all believe in, and they sign up to it, and that's it. We go with it. And he's got some great athletes on this team. And it, there's an upset in the making tonight, Mark. Well, there's the starting lineup, Mick. It's uh, same way for. Uh for Alba Berlin and I and Dragan Deutschen last uh, last last uh, yesterday in the semi-final bit of an unsung hero because he I, I described him yesterday as the glue that was holding his team together very experienced player every team needs that sort of balance well it does the dirty work doesn't he 25 minutes he played took one shot I mean you'd have a hard time playing 25 minutes only taking one shot wouldn't you well I mean it would <laughs> then again at my level I'm not it's, sure <laughs> it's tough to do but it, it just shows you he does all the uh, the dirty work for the team and just doing whatever needs to be done at every offense and every uh, defensive play. Wow, the Valencia lineup and the starting lineup to me has got so, and, and Coach uh, Savage said it as well, so many offensive options. If they get going from the three point line, wow, this is going to give this team some problems. Decolo, can he? He's been carrying an injury. Let's not forget, he's played yesterday. Well, he did look injured in the first half yesterday, but he did really get a little bit cold in the second. Injury could still be a factor, but if he struggles, Rafa Martinez, even though he turned his ankle, he stepped up with a huge game yesterday. Well, Nando de Cola, 20 points at halftime, Mark. There was no way he was going to be a hero the second half. You know, you're just uh, sort of uh, going to be earmarked to be guarded closely. And I don't think Nando de Cola is going to get off this game either. The stage is set for other Valencian players, as in Mike Nielsen, Victor Claver to come to the party, and maybe Serge Lushtuk too. Uh, players just about ready to come out. One of the highlights of European basketball season. The Europe Cup final here on your spot two, just about to start. Wow, you the joining us here with the pitches of the two coaches, Luka Vasavic and Nevan Swaha. Those two coaches have led their teams to the final of the 2010 Europe Cup. Here in Vitoria, the gym is packed. Fans of the uh, Bilbao team, fans of the Greek Panalonius, the Panalonius team have stayed here to witness what is going to be a great game. Alba Berlin in the yellow, in the purple colored shirts are Valencia. Here we go for the final. And Valencia will control the basketball. Nando de Colo and Victor Claver. Interesting matchups, Mick, at the start of this game. Kokolo guarded by Rashad Wright. That's going to be a matchup for Wright all night. Martinez guarded by McElroy. Martinez gets to the basket, kicks it, extra pass, puts it on the floor, and as Claver gets to the basket. Oh, my word, what a start. Well, we talked about Mark not sitting on the three-point line, taking jump shots. Claver had it, but look at this for the first play of the game. Wow. Down, baby. That's why the first-round draft pick, that's why... He is one of those talked about talents, and that's why he's the 2010 Young Player of the Year. Hook shot, but Chubb is short. Chance here for Valencia to come really build on. What a start. I'll tell you what, Mark, he threw one down against Harris, and I thought it was just a play of the week. That is even better, that move. That is uh, going to go a long way around this world. Ah, uh, the color gets the offensive rebound off the Martinez miss. Yeah, that was a quick shot from Martinez, but you know what? It'll settle him down. Shooters need to get the hand in the ball, ball in the hands, and get a quick, good shot off to begin the game. Good defense on the pick and roll. Offense strategy there to show really hard on that ball screen. And, and this is going to be a bit of a chess match. Yeah, that's a weakness for Valencia. With Decolo at the point guard, they will not be able to bisect the pick and roll. So uh, he will have to go the long way round. He's not that agile yet. Well, here he is, Rashad Wright. Got the guard in duties. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Decolo gets to the basket, throws it over his head, and with nice little finish by Perovic, and he makes two. 4-0 start for Valencia. Yeah, Mark, you talk about Claver. I think Nando Decolo is uh, going to be hard to hang on to this summer. His uh, stock is rising by the minute. Looking inside here, Chubb trying to get him going early, gets out the three-point, uh, three-second keyway, gets it back. Finds Byers, he'll fire. Oh, nice fake. Steps back, great defense by Martinez. Wow, what an effort. Both teams really going hard at it defensively, and we've got a 24-second violation. Wow. 
What a start by Valencia. Mark, uh, Albert coming to this game not shooting threes, and there must have been three opportunities to shoot the three. They want to take a note, one going to the hoop to begin with, and Deutschen gets caught out, blocked the shot, and the shot clock violation. Uh, indication of the discipline of the team. This is what Pasavic wants, and they're trying to give it to him. Here's Kostopovic going to work on the inside. Much more, much more size than Chubb. Rashad Wright will get the uh, rebound, Alper, but Alper, Alper oh, that. Oh, yeah. they called the foul on Doshin under the basket on the... Mark, you talked about Perovic not playing many minutes. You know, as long as they have players like Sekulic out there, that means Perovic uh, and uh, his substitute Lishtuk will be playing time, and Perovic can play. He's getting better by the game. Well, here's the... The Colo comes off the screen. Sekulic trying to get back in there. Martinez has it stripped, Wright's hit the floor, great hustle by both lineups. Now, nice play from uh, Rashad right there, get the body on the floor, get the, the, the momentum going your way with a bit of hustle play. Well, Rashad Wright sets it up, Doshin gets it moving, Byers has got to think about shooting the basketball. Here he is, guarded by Nielsen, got to exploit that matchup, pulls the trigger for three, rims out, the Colo comes down with a defensive rebound. Well, one thing I think for sure is that Albert missed shots, they're not going to get many rebounds, they're not very active in the post. Adam Chubb had a good big night last night, but you know what, he's not a great rebounder. Well, the Colo's off for three, chance of bias to run, they've got to get points in transition if they can, Berlin, but uh, they're not going to try and force it. Well, that's Doshin. strength, the quickness is their yeah. strength. They've got to go at the team, at the defense. McElroy tries to turn the corner. Perovic shows. Corner, Byers for three. Is good. That'll settle them down. Get their first points on the board. 4-3 to take some three minutes to get them, but they only trail one. Alba Berlin, get themselves going. Derek Byers hits his first three of the game. Matt Nielsen, way outside the three-point line. Kleber for three, is off. Now there are times in games, we've seen it earlier in the season, where Valencia will get a bit three-point happy and dry up. <laughs> Last night was three-point yeah, happy, but they were on fire. Um, right, Dolshin pulls the trigger for three, that's a weird looking one, but great work on the board by Salukic. Now Sukulic going following the rebound, and Roy, Mark, you've got to get in there. And I like that, if Chubb can do the same thing and be a presence on the offensive board, they're, uh, they're going to hang around. Well, here's uh, the Colo, guarded by Wright. Nilsson looking to go to work in the post, and Doshin tries to back him in. Wright's going to get caught, I think, for trying to reach, but... Uh, you know, that's a, that's a scouting play all over it. Matt Nilsson gets the ball low post, he's only going one way into the middle like that. And the number of times he draws fouls. Move your feet. Here's a freeze from uh, Deutschen that gets rebounded by Sekulic. You know, drag, uh, Blagodis Sekulic Sekulic is going for his second Euro Cup title. Uh, he won with Real Madrid a couple of years ago. Uh, the, uh, rotations early off of the Berlin bench. Traub gets into the game to sort of first action of, uh, of the night for him. Previch had inside position, but Golmak did a great job staying with the play. That's what makes Berlin better now that Golmak can come into the game. Chubb can come in game. They've got four guys that can rotate on the inside. Golmak. Rashad Wright coming back. Gets an advantage on that. Pulls the trigger for the long two. He's got off. I think we're going to get uh, Chubb to the push in the back. Matt Nielsen made a lot of noise on that play. Tentative start by both teams. You'd expect that, Mick. 5-4. Four minutes, four and a half minutes gone. Low scoring to start with. Well, don't forget last night in the Valencia game, Lishtuk didn't come on until nine minutes gone in the first quarter. It'd be interesting to see uh, where his first appearance tonight. We've seen Adam Chubb, the superstar last night. For uh, In fact, there is Lishtuk now, I think, on the floor. No, it's Perovic, my yeah, fault. Perovic going to the block, a little bump there. Good defense there by Berlin. They really shown that screen hard. Martinez gets to the middle, kicks it. Nielsen way outside the three. Five seconds on the shot clock. Clever's going to have to shoot this. Steps back for three. Way off. Now yeah, two threes back to back for Claver and both missed. And he started the game with the, the biggest dunk we've seen in this uh, final four yet. Ooh, what a dunk that was. That's a highlight. That's going to be a, it's going to be a lot of NBA teams looking at that one. There's already been drafted though, so Golmack on the floor against Nielsen, called for a travel. Matt Nielsen just is so smart. He set himself up around once Golmack had established his pivot foot, then he made it tough for him to beat by the way he played his defense. Just love the way Nielsen plays. I thought Nielsen would have got a foul though, Mark, if, if the travel had been caught. I think the, the referees uh, were quick to get Jerika Golomack on that one. 
Well, 5-4, five, five minutes into the first quarter. Wow, five minutes has just flown past. Piccolo, Nielsen going inside, hasn't taken a shot yet. Had a chance to go. Golmack is going to get called for the reach. Yeah, we saw, that, we saw that last night, didn't we? With the Panellini's defense trying to guard the low post, reaching as the ball's coming in. It's, it's an obvious foul straight away, and there's no way Golomac is going to get uh, battered that much by Nielsen. At least give it a try. Uh, out of bounds here for Valencia. Rafa Martinez. Nicolo. They haven't really structured anything at the moment, Valencia. They're, they're going inside here to try to isolate, and I think that's a matchup they can exploit. Perovic is going to be tough to guard for any of this Alba Berlin team. And the, and the problem for Pavicevic, he started switching screens, and, and if you switch too much, there's a mismatch in there. Golmak kicks. McElroy for three is off. And Perovic adds to his stats and comes up with a defensive rebound. Good start here for uh, the uh, serve Perovic there. Excellent job. In the block again. They go into him. Going against Chubb. And Chubb's going to get called for the foul one on the one. floor. No, I thought he's caught it on the floor. I think he pointed to the floor on the dribble. Oh, it's a great move from Costa Perovic, though. Uh, decent move. Decent move. And, and, you know, this is going to have problems all night for Berlin if they don't sort this uh, post situation out because uh, it, when Perovic takes a break, his sub's going to be Sergei Lushtuk and uh, he will be all sorts of problems as well for the German club. Well, all two metres 17 of Kosta Perovic. Chubb sits down, Mark, too. The hero last night, 27 points. You know, Mark, he'd never played as many minutes as he did last night. He'd never taken as many shots as he did last night all season. But, what a uh, night to uh, produce the best. Got to step up on the big nights, and he definitely did last night. Perovic is good from the line. He has been, apart from the uh, clever dunk in the first play, it's been about Perovic at the moment. He is the fall in the side of Berlin at the start of this game. Jenkins joins the action. A lot of offense on the floor for a Berlin now from the perimeter. They are quick. McElroy looks inside. Little running jump hook is no good. And uh, already going to the bench here is Samil Nalga. Makes that really pretty ugly looking jump hook there. And 8-5 uh, for Valencia. Interesting to see how Perovic is getting people into the game early. He's obviously conscious of the effort from last night. He's got to keep his light up fresh. Plever, great move. Nice wraparound pass. Perovic can't handle it. Only three seconds on the shot clock. Plever gets it away. And it's no good. And Alba Berlin's defense works again. Well, Mark Victor Clay, you talk about people looking around the world. What a great crossover. What a great pass. And there's Jenkins a chance to get going. Something has to click this uh, Berlin team into action. Oh, nice pass. Gulmak steps inside. Extra pass. Wide open for three is good. There's an excellent offensive set there. Gulmak with the assist. Yeah, Stefan and Harman, Mark, Stephen Harman, Mark, the uh, German in international. Moment, yeah. You know, much needed. He's been uh, a big stalwart of this team. My offensive foul. And a bit of a the referee's getting involved trying to equalize things out. But he said, listen, that's going to go on all day long. <laughs> you call it both ends. But, oh. uh, Mark, you talked about last night. Five minutes gone. Look at the score last night. It was over into the late teens, wasn't it? As Harmon hits that big long three, the assist from Golomac. Well, you said that right at the top of the show, though, Mick. You didn't think that Valencia would come out nailing threes in the same way they did last night. And they have not. 8-8. Eight, eight. It's a Berlin score at the moment. Jenkins gets the ball inside. Whoa, interesting pass. Gormack for three of his feet set is off. I tell you what, Mark, this favors Berlin all over, doesn't it? Because the, the, the score is down low. The pace is high. High octane. Both teams playing fairly well offensively, but Valencia just not scoring at all. Right, a defensive preparation. And don't forget. Another offensive foul, too. Look at that. This on Nielsen. They call him for holding the shirt. Yeah, Nielsen backing in. You'll probably find an arm wrapped around. Let's have a look. It's Nielsen, 44. There it is. There's your foul. Yeah. Right arm. And again. I wouldn't say uh, grabbing the rear end of a <laughs> defender is the best thing to do. Uh, he, he did it once, and the referee let it go. Could did it again. Referee caught it. Nice spot by the official. Little high post thing. Golmax got open. Byers in the corner. Gets it. Byers finds himself open. Long two. Turns it down. And Byers has nailed a three already. He's got to feel he's quite hot. The man, great spacing by Berlin. They just, they've got to guard Jenkins, and they've got to guard Byers, and her man just Wait. sliced through the middle. Apology to both referees as he's tipped the ball as he's made the layup, and uh, the referees will be after him for that for delay of game. Well, uh, just 
Love the fit. This is European basketball in its best. Here's the Kolo. Kaladi comes up open, turns down, steps back for three. Doesn't get one. Great rebound is oh, off for Pervic. And that well, will be bench time for Costa Pervic. I can see uh, maybe uh, Spahia will think he's getting a bit weary out there. And maybe the sub list took to come in. A foul uh, there, a, Martinez. That's his second foul. Martinez pulls his second foul, trying to guard Jenkins. And you've just got to love the way Berlin have set themselves up. Only a day, less than a day to prepare for this game. Their spacing is excellent. And they are really giving Valencia t lots of questions here. Marinovic comes in, That's, played big uh, minutes last night, hit two threes late in the game. Mark, I'll tell you one thing, Julius Jenkins doesn't start the game. He's the top scorer in this Alba team. But look at the effect he's having. He's so difficult to guard. His movement off the ball is incredibly quick and very uh, economical. Well, he'll get it now, guarded by Marinovic. Now, Marinovic is prone to foul sometimes. Jenkins may try and go at him early. Just off the bench, steps back, pulls the trigger for three. That's a long three. I wouldn't worry about it too much. He's making the uh, defense think he's got range, and now Marinovic will have to step up and play a bit closer next time. Piccolo, Beatrice in the game for Valencia, puts it on the floor. More athletic option now on the inside. Both teams running the substitutions. Both, game, both teams obviously back-to-back -back games, it's a tough ask. Perovic is still in the game, Marinovic for three, wow. No, that was, uh, wow. The Colo oh, sorry. The Colo's first three made, was it four in the first half last night and his 20 points, maybe five I think it was. Wow, the Colo with, uh, with Hamad all over him, Jenkins comes to get it. Gets the high post screen, pulls the trigger for three himself, doesn't get it. Oh, great oh, work on the board. Oh, foul. Petrus gets the block. No foul, it was a foul. Jeez. you got to call that. Kamal Naga there gets the offensive rebound and uh, needs to go a bit harder maybe. 11-10, oh, Valencia have the lead. Last, should be the last uh, sh Valencia shot. The Colo's guarded. And underneath, no good on the shot. And we've got a foul called on Perovic. Mark, Nando de Colo would have shot that three last night. You know, and that's the, the the fair side of him. You know, the, the distribution of the point guard mentality he's got. Hits uh, Florent Petrus. Petrus does it. Come up some oops to do. Look at that shot. That's not good. You've got to shoot the shot next time, De Colo. Take the game with your own hands. Uh, Perovic. Well, I'm not you sure. You said block, Mike. You might have been right, too. Uh, he's, uh, every, uh, all that action happened above the ring, and the refs let it happen, so... Well, Sergei Lishtuk got about a minute of the first quarter last. He got 14 seconds tonight. He's going to think why well, he's at Holding for the last shot. Five seconds. A man penetrates. Gets a bump. No call. And to Kaladi will throw up the prayer. It's way off. Wow. Well, that's the first quarter. 10-11. Both teams showing a little bit of fatigue. A little bit of tiredness. But what we've got is a one-point basketball game at the end of the first quarter. We'll take a break. We'll join you after the commercials. Well, welcome back to an absolutely electric atmosphere in the gym here in Victoria. Mick, it's 11-10. Yesterday, it was a phenomenal offensive game. Now we've got only 21 points between them. We're looking at a 45-44 finish to this game, the lowest score in the Europe Cup final in history. Mark, the, there's no way it was going to kick off uh, like last night. 16 for 29, Valencia were for the three-point line. First quarter, they're one for seven, so they're on line to take another 28 three-pointers, but you know what? They're not going to hit 16 tonight. And the only three-pointer for them, Nando de Colo. What a start by Kleber, though, and then they stopped attacking the basket. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? You know, the number of times I've seen him play, Matt Nielsen's always an object of desire for them in the low post. You know, once tonight, that's it. And, and that, what worries me is the fact that last night, Spectre still hangs over this game. They still think they're going to come out and blow this team out from the three-point line. It's not going to happen. Well, Alba Berlin with the possession at the start of the second quarter. Here's a man, Byers, trying to look for Jenkins in the corner. Comes off that screen, got some options, Gormax in the post here, trying to create, and we've got a travel cord. Florian Petrus, there's no way Gormax got to try and play quicker than Petrus. His defense, his athleticism is, is much, much superior to Gormax's athleticism. Well, there's Gormax. no way, no way takes two dribbles no. on offense, I'm sorry, you either shoot it or pass it. Absolutely One right. One dribble to the hoop, two dribbles, forget it. Marinovic, taking over point guard duties for Valencia, finds this chip. Kaladi thoughts about, thinks about the three, takes the three with buyers all over him. Decent defense again by Berlin. They're extending. They're really taking Valencia out of their rhythm. The three-point line could be their Achilles heel tonight, couldn't it really? 
Byers is always favour for Alba Berlin. They're foul on the back. Oh, it's not an offensive foul. This same call, same referee. Lishtik's got a hooking foul. Uh, it's still it's 11 10. The spacing was good that time for Berlin, though. They create that open uh, look on the inside and. Uh, Sikulic oh, got, yes. got the wrong way round, yeah. Kukulic got really deep and he just had a little bit of a hook. Man, full court pressure defense. And this is what he want. Take the Colo out of the game. That's your point guard for Valencia. You can't get the ball. Uh, it's uh, Marinovic guarded by Rashad Wright. Well, hats off to both coaches. In a short space of time, a man gets caught trying to take the ball off the Colo. He wants to know why. Look at that. Butter wouldn't melt in that mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what, Mark? It, it, it's an obvious cause. Anytime you reach for the ball, the referee's got to make a decision. At that time, he got unlucky. But, you know, as soon as Decola starts wrestling with the ball, there's only one outcome. It's a foul for uh, Harmon. Harmon gets called for the foul. Yeah. Marinovic pulls the trigger really quickly. Now's one. Now's one. Marinovic. Well, he was the hero in uh, game one against Aris in that semi-final. Off the bench, 18 points, 17 minutes. Uh, you can't believe he'd come and do the same tonight, can you? They just got to get a little bit of calmness into the offensive execution now. Just wait for the things you get. Get shots you practice. Seven seconds on the shot clock. This is not good. Gormax had to pick it up. Rashad Wright. Fumble. Got to get it away. Does. Byers. Off. Got people on the boards. Lischuk with a defensive rebound. Well, Marinovic now a chance to break it too. You now it's funny. You don't get too many shots in transition, uh, Valencia. They will always bring it out and run an offense. Oh, uh, Marinovic, this chip, walked all over, right, no call. Decolo gets to the keyway, ball knocks away, and we got a whistle. A man's called again for the reach. That's tough, because I thought it was a late whistle. I thought Aman yeah. got all ball, and maybe the foul was underneath on uh, Golomach. Aman well, will sit down with two fouls. Well, both coaches, well, in fact, all four coaches talked in their pre, uh, pre-game uh, interviews and stuff that we've done here on Eurosports all talked about defense well for the well literally the first game of the final four here defense is ruling at the moment only 14 10 Valencia just had the lead this uh, can't pass that because uh, Gulmax help him Petrus never makes that shot that's not his game at all Mark last two shots for Valencia both been three pointers to Colos three and uh, Marinovic is three uh, good defense is everywhere. Pitches is that's what he's good at. He's a, such an athlete. He's defensive intensity. They call him for the foul, but look how far Alba Berlin are having to come out to get into their offensive sets. Yeah, it's but I think the great. negative side of that mark is is the holding. The foul's called, isn't yeah. it? So yeah, yeah. Alba get the offense. And you get another chance. Nicola will sit down. With a th someone's got to break the defense down here. This is the defense is spread and the pressure on the ball is intense. Maybe there's a little bit too much uh, activity around the ball. Maybe you just give a bit of space and see if we can take people on. Kleber's getting this, getting a finish, this one. Hold on to your hat. Side oh, took the easy layup. Victor Kleber with a steal. 16-10. Timeout, Alba Berlin. Yeah, Pavicevic wants to little talk it over. And you're right, Mark. The offense is just uh, stationary. In some ways, I think Alba's lucky that uh, Valencia's not really firing all cylinders at this part of the game as uh, Kleber goes up with an exquisite little finger roll. Wow, finished beautifully after the steal. And there's so much activity around the basketball. The defense is really intense. And that's what's really been the undoing of Alba. Mick, uh, Coach Pesavich, talked a lot about his pick and roll game. He talked a lot about being disciplined. At the moment, though, there's a lot of bodies around the ball. There's no space to play. Yeah, and I think pick and roll is all well and good, but you you have to adapt to what the defense gives you. I think what's important in pick and roll is how you move the other three players around the floor on the weak side or on the strong side, wherever you want to put them. Look at the way the Valencia play the pick and roll, and there's a lot more movement, a lot more uh, cut into the hoop, a lot more body uh, body action. Wow, the, these Berlin fans here a little bit subdued. They're just waiting for their coach to come up with the answer, which is what he did yesterday. Oh, the timeout for Alba Berlin. They only have 10 points in the game, but they still only trail six. So uh, sooner or later, that offense is going to start to click. But uh, 7.28 in the second quarter still to go. And it's been a tremendous performance by Valencia defensively, even though at the moment their offense is stuttering itself. It's... Uh,
as Coach Bahar said in the right at the top of this uh, Final Four two days ago, when he was interviewed, he was always emphasizing defense, and that's what his team have come out with now. Now they're extending the defense up the floor. Rashad Wright guided by Marinovic. Full call. It's all about wearing people down. Rashad Wright. Well, I think it's time to get Julius Jenkins back in the game. Uh, uh, although he might be carrying that injury, I think everything revolves around Jenkins. He's got the experience, and he's an MVP winner. A little bit more movement this time. There's a bit more space, but he's gone back to the traffic. Rashid Wright shakes inside, scoops one up. Great work on the boards by both teams. Now, let's have a timeout too, Marcia. So it wasn't very productive. Nope. A chance here to extend this lead. 16-10, and uh, Valencia Marinovic kicks. Kaladi will shoot that for three. Ooh. Now's one, and this is the problem that Berlin will have. If they dry up, sooner or later, this high-powered offense will just start to pour it in. Well, Pavicevic, Mark, has had his timeout 30 seconds ago. Now he needs to look to the subs bench to get some uh, little uh, impetus markers in there. He's gone there. He's uh, straight to the bench. Uh, looks like Chubb's going to come back. I think it's Chubb coming in. He needs to. This is how you run games when you uh, haven't got timeouts to use. Use the subs. Gormak and uh, we've got a foul on Marinovic off the ball as he switched. And, and that's not good either for uh, Valencia. That's a little momentum breaker for them. So it settles things down for uh, Alba. It gives a chance for Pavicevic to get the sub in. Gormak sits down. Chubb comes in. Adam Chubb, the star of last night, 27 points. His set came out the first quarter, didn't do much then. Well, they got they got to Chubb the ball last night off by, by spreading the floor. They ran a little uh, sort of uh, high post uh, pick and roll, little horns type offense, two screeners, and then they just threw Chubb down to the basket. But he's not back in the game here. Doishin's back and Seklukic is back. Rashad Wright finds Seklukic. He'll finish that. Knocked away. Knocked back in. Wow. Unbelievable. That was out too. And I think Lishtuk might have had some uh, help in getting that in the basket. Yep. 19-12. First two points of the quarter. Four minutes in. And Berlin get the scoreboard ticking over again. That should settle them down a little bit. Seklukic shows on the screen. Kaladi, having made a three, gets to the keyway. Pulled back for two. Wow, Thomas Kaladi, we've seen him for a number of years here on Eurosport 2. He can just flat out score. Well, and look at the play. You've got Nando De Colo on the bench. Marinovic is in there. So Kaladi now feels some sort of uh, impetus to uh, take things on himself. Well, here That's is five points for Kaladi right now. You do not want to let him get off. Here's Emmanuel McElroy. Needs his experience now. Needs to come up with big plays. Rashad Wright gets to the keyway. Nice pass. Byers blocked. Don't finish move. and one. Tough move. Absolute phenomenal finish by Byers. Hang time and everything. He was clattered by Lischuk. And that, that is a clatter when he takes you. Well, Let's eight, have a look at this. Eight feet and under, Mark. Uh, these Alba players have a bit more athleticism than the uh, Valencia team. And uh, Byers there is used to that little playground move. Touch, bump. Hang on a bit more and just bank it off. Uh, now Chubb, Chubb in the game. Chubb in the game for Seklukic and uh, Byers on the free throw line. This will make it a six point game. Byers, excellent free throw shooter. Makes that one, no problems at all. And uh, Marinovic has really had a good impact for Valencia since he's been in the game. Pietrus, who hardly played last night, has also sparked them on the glass. Kaladi gets it to Pietrus, who, having told. You how well he done, I thought that should have... Uh, uh, literally dropped it, Mark. Yeah, absolutely. But you know, you, you've got Petrus in the game. I think it can only be as a, a to buy time for the superstars. Uh, they, uh, they would have been weary from last night. Kaladi steps back, thinks about it. Guarded by uh, Makawa Marinovic. There's the screen shown there by Chubb. Marinovic from way downtown is off. Team oh, off. No, you've got to clean up your boards. It was a brick of a shot from Marinovic. They hit both sides of the rim, too. Well, they get a new 24. Here's Marinovic now. This chick sets the screen. Chubb's got to get back. Marinovic going through traffic. Gets Rashad right. Doesn't like the call, but uh, don't really think he's got a lot of complaint on that one. I tell you what, Marco Marinovic knows full well that he's on. Uh, he's got some extended time in this first half. I doubt if De is going to come in sub for him. So the better he plays now, the better chance he has to play in the second half. Because right. you know full well Dakota's the first choice. Absolutely. McElroy sits down. Both coaches happen to really get into rotations here because it's back-to-back -back games. And it's you know, it, it's not that these guys are not in great shape. It's that they don't play back-to-back -back games. Some of these guys played a lot of minutes last night. And they need to be in good shape in the fourth quarter, not in the second. They need to be ready to play when it's down the end of the game. Marinovic makes the first, increases it to a seven-point lead. 
Marko Marinovic makes both. And it's a 23-15 lead halfway through the second quarter. Full court pressure again by Valencia. Really trying to work Rashad right out. That's a way to beat the press. If you can pass it, pass it. Byers, though. Guarded by uh, Clever. That's a tough matchup, that is. Uh, Jenkins back in the game. Get your wish, Mick. He's going to... Great slicing move. Beautiful pass. Chubb misses the gimme. Well, he didn't miss anything last night. 11 for 16 last night, and uh, I think that's his first shot tonight. And it was uh, it was not quite body set, and it rolled off the backboard. Well, uh, that's... Uh, 39 and 29 percent from the field that's not going to be anything to write home about marinovic doesn't get the drop this took lucky to get away with a tremendous rebound from deutsch into uh, block out lishtuk now they've got to get jenkins the ball jenkins has got the uh, the eye for it tonight oh they're moving the basketball they're going to try and get jenkins a little bit of an advantage when he sees it rashad right gets it back kicks it jenkins wide open for three count those Hey Mark, I'm telling you, this guy can play, and he play in big games. I think he's got three MV, MVP awards for playing in European uh, tough finals. Well, he's, he definitely looked nothing that was never going to miss. Nilsson looking to come back in for the last four minutes of the second quarter for Valencia. Marinovic shakes a little move, a crossover, gets the floater. Seven points for Marinovic, Mark, he's uh, doing the job. The side right pushes and decides not to go any further. In the half court now, Byers. There's the screen. A little scoop shot. Byers, lots of bodies on the floor. He could have got a, you know, it's got to end up with something better than that. Oh, degree of difficulty. He's way up there, wasn't it, really? The finishing that, you had to get really lucky to get the roll right. And nothing happened for him. Well, uh, it's, uh, it's not happening for Albert Berlin offensively. 18-25. They only trust seven, though. They've had the worst. Great recovery. Great rotation. Textbook stuff. Oh, it's a Oh, right. No way. Error after error. Kaladi, this will normally mean that they'll get a good shot, but a good rope, good effort by Berlin to get back, though. Transition by both teams. Effort's tremendous. Yeah, that's a tough play down the other end. Rashad Wright just didn't get it quite right. Marinovic steals it, and now a chance for Valencia again. This ship to the basket gets a layup. Yeah, and uh, Pavicevic is going to call another timeout, Mark. Or is it sub coming in, timeout and subs? Yeah, nine-point margin for Valencia. Now, he has to make sure that in the uh, latter stages of this second quarter, he doesn't get it, too much momentum for this Valencia team. He cannot let them build a double-digit lead. No, there's no way. Nine points now, that's what you want. It in, uh, it's got to be better than that uh, to get into halftime. Bahar taking this time out here. We're getting to see the Valencia time out, but uh, called by Alba Berlin. It's Bahar again emphasizes the defense. Now he's showing his team what he wants to finish this quarter because at the moment he has all the momentum, Mick. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. They've uh, 27 points. You think, we wouldn't think with 27 points on the board with uh, two and a bit to go in the first half, you'd be up by nine points, but that's how uh, miserably really Alba have finished plays. They look good with Julius Jenkins on the ball, but uh, apart from that, Adam Chubb from last night, it, it was the, the, the game of his uh, career, really, and he can't replicate it right now. No, oh, has not been replicated. Not, not yet, but uh, we're, we're not even at half time yet. Rasad Wright made this the pass of Byers, his great and one finish, but uh, not really sure if Pasevic yet has worked out with the best lineup he can put on the floor because he's made a lot of changes. Some of that will be down to uh, fatigue. Some of it will be just down for looking for a lineup that can actually be consistent. There was Jenkins creating the option for Chubb. Missed the easy two. 27-18. Last night they had 53 points. You can see that caption. Steal by Kaladi off Jenkins. He'll finish this. Jenkins tried to get back, but Kaladi makes it a double-digit lead. 29-18. Mark, they're 10 of the quarter, the lowest in the final. They're going to have 18 close to the uh, second half. This is uh, a Pavicevic nightmare, isn't it, really? Well, he's gone with his uh, with a lineup that he believes now is probably his most potent. Saklukic blocked by Lischuk. Oh, my word. I mean, you know, you can only do as well to get your big man the ball two feet from the bucket. Chubb, Sekulic. Look at this play. Oh, there's the steal from uh, Jenkins uh, from Kalati. Uh, Kalati quick as you like. A nice finish. But uh, uh, the big boys from Berlin have got to come up with some numbers. Jenkins misses the three. 
Nilsson holds down a rebound. And you know what, when it's not going well, it's not going well. Little jump shots like that, you want them to drop, and you're trying extra hard, and it just doesn't go in. Look at the slow pace for Valencia, almost killing the game now. Oh, Nilsson down the middle is fouled. Yeah, nice pick and roll. Now, Mark, there we talk about all the body movement before the pick and roll. The pick and roll then gets the defense off bounds out of uh, out of kilt. Look at that, straight down the lane. It has to be a foul. Manny Rath McElroy and Nielsen, the uh, big Australian, is going to shoot two. Well, Matt Nielsen straight down the middle, straight to the front of the ring and went strong. None of this uh, chance to be blocked. Rashad Wright's going to sit down with 1.55 to go in the second quarter. It's been a hard night at the office for Rashad right at the moment. Valencia been pushing the floor with uh, pushing up the floor with some full court pressure. But uh, Nielsen makes the first of the three throws. Can be a bit inconsistent from the line, Matty Nielsen, but uh, makes both. Didn't have a great full quarter on the free throw line, but uh, did in every other aspect last night. But here's uh, McElroy. Max in a lot of the ball a long way from the basket. Jenkins got to try and exploit his speed with the colo. Extra pass is good that time. Max thinks about the three. Finds Jenkins, pulls the trigger for three, makes it. Yeah, tough shot from Julius Jenkins there. I think that's eight points for Jenkins. So in anything, he's the one keeping things uh, alight for Alba. Well, they've got to keep believing. Oh, Kalani just sliced oh, through no. that. Oh, chance here for Berlin to get back-to-back -back points for the first time. And there's the, uh, we're in bad shape. I've got a foul, otherwise they're going to get an easy shot. Well, you talk about slicing through the pick and roll, and, you know, he hands the pass to uh, Matt Nielsen on a plate, but he's just a little behind him, and the big fella, like all big fellas, drop it. <laughs> <laughs> they have their moments, these big guys. Uh, it's safe to say that from the comfort of the commentary booth, but here we go. McElroy gets it to Jenkins, getting great fake, steps back, pulls the trigger for two, is off, no yellow shirt in the keyway that time. Just touched the side of the backboard, didn't it, Mark? Just kissed the side and they airballed after that. But they're hanging around now. It's only 10. It, for a while there, it looked like it could get really messy coming into the half time. Kalati. Turnover. Yes, no. Nielsen's on the floor. Finds Kalati for the soft touch and gets the two when it was almost a turnover. Great hustle by uh, Maddie Nielsen. Yeah, that's 21. Tough, tough for Alba, isn't it? You know, you missed a shot and you can't get the, or you get the turnover almost and you can't get the ball, hands on the ball. Gilmack. One time he's got to shoot that. He can't beat people on the dribble. It's not his game at all. We're going to get a whistle cord and the foul is on Saklukic. And as you said, when it's not going your way, it doesn't ever go your way. And Gonamak has he's never employed for his ability to beat people on the dribble. No, and, and where Jurika Gonamak is good is hitting that 18-foot jump shot. But you catch the ball on the three-point line, nobody's going to come out and play that far out. So that no wonder the, uh, the pump fake doesn't work. Uh, Saklukic uh, with another foul. That's his second. But got a Saklukic. Spent some time in Spain with Real Madrid, one of the most talked about players when he was uh, coming through age group ranks. Finding a nice uh, nice situation for himself in Berlin. But at the moment, his team trial, 33-21. The only good thing at the moment in Berlin is that managed to score more points in the second than the first, but it's only by one. Yeah, it's uh, 21 points. I mean, 30 seconds to go. They're 10 in the first quarter, 11 now, and uh, yeah, they're going to break another record, I'm sure. Uh, sorry, Mr. Chick. The only mm -hmm. worst performances was Girona a couple of years ago, losing to Badalona when they scored, I think, 56 for the game. So they're struggling to even uh, get better than that right now. Uh, the referee gives another one because uh, Gormak was uh, just a little bit quick to step into the keyway there. And here is uh, Lischuk is off. We've got a whistle now. They've called it the other way. So the other official didn't like the fact that Matt Nielsen stepped in. So bizarre way to finish the half. <laughs> I mean, it should be, we've had good, uh, good shots of both officials calling uh, in early on a free throw. Full court pressure. Kaladi giving it up for the team in terms of effort, making McElroy work the whole length of the floor. And McElroy looks in a bit of trouble too. Kaladi's a good defender. Jenkins. Gilmack, no threat at the moment at all. McElroy comes off of the screen, turns, turns, to, <laughs> well, the, somehow managed to get it in there and uh, now uh, goes to the basket. At least he went strong. You've got to give him credit for going strong and there was a swarm. Well, the problem was he goes slowly and if he goes slowly, you just attract everybody. Look at this, he goes up there, takes a bit of a travel and everybody goes after that thing. 
Everybody except Matt Nelson went after that thing. Well, my goodness me, it was just <laughs> it was just poster play, wasn't it? Let's pin this one on the backboard. Well, I say, let's check sits down in this timeout. Uh, 10.4 seconds to go in the second quarter. When we come back after this timeout, uh, we're going to have uh, uh, Samal Nalgar on the free throw line. And if you've ever, it's only the, just coming into half time, but. Berlin need these free throws. Absolutely, de so desperately need these free throws just to get the scoreboard ticking over a bit. 11 is a lot better than 13. Well, I think and you have to give yourself targets, don't you? You're going into half time, let's say, okay, we're 13 down now, let's get it to 10 maybe. We maybe get another shot after this, but uh, it's, uh, it'll be a, <laughs> it won't be a, a very happy half time talk for Pavicevic for sure. Well, it's, um, Hasevich trying to make sure is there's two things he has to do now. He has to organize his team because they're going to make these free throws. That's what he will tell him. What's he going to do defensively? Will he show some pressure? There's only 10 seconds left here in the quarter. He's almost certainly going to try and slow the ball down. He doesn't want to foul though because he's in the bonus. If he fouls, that'll send uh, Valencia to the free throw line. Well, definitely one thing is that he'll be on defense the whole time. I thought he'd end on the shot, but no chance now. You know, one thing, Mark, is they, they will... Uh, you, you pressure up the floor, yeah, could get beaten pretty easy, give up an easy shot, five on four opportunity. I think you just play half court defense, play it smart, and just uh, give up nothing easy. Anything easy, you got to protect the basket. Yes, Spaha wants, uh, well, they almost had six players on the floor there. Wow, that would have been something. Coming out of that timeout, there were six purple shirts ready to line up for those free throws. Here's uh, Samal Nalga. The uh, two meter six. It's about six eight six nine. Turkish center makes the first of his two free throws. Maybe token pressure up the floor just to try and slow it up a little bit, so they can't just get a head of steam up with 10 seconds on the quarter clocks. Now goes off with a second. Nilsson pulls it down. Eight seconds. Dakota knows he's got enough time here. Nilsson sets the screen. Dakota's going to put this up. Sets it for the long two. Nails one. Range it Nails for one. 36-22. Well, that tells you Costa Perovic going off. But I think they're a little bit of a one-finger thing in terms of he thinks they're the number one team. Thinks they've already won. Have they? I don't know. 36-22. We're going to get a chance to get some immediate reactions now. Let's go and listen to Rashid Wright from Alba Berlin. See what he thinks with Danny. You guys are having a lot of trouble to score. Yeah, uh, uh, we're not getting the uh, looks we want and uh, not executing real well right now. So uh, we got to do a better job of that in the second half. Okay, thank you. Good luck. Well, it's uh, one of the easier halftime interviews about why they're not getting shots. But Rashid Wright. We're going to get a chance to listen to Thomas Kaladi. I'm sure this is going to be a little bit more upbeat. Let's see what Thomas Kaladi has got to say. Thomas, you are playing an incredible defense. Yeah, that's, uh, that was the goal. That was the team concept for this game was to play better defense than we did yesterday. Um, we know Alba's only scored over 75 points in three games this year, so we're going to try to do our best. We held them to 22 points in two quarters. It's great. If we keep up this kind of defense, we're going to win the game. Okay, thank you very much. Good luck. Well, Mick, uh, that's... Uh, key fact there from Thomas Kaladi obviously the defense is the key you know looking at these stats the shooting percentages are just one of those things that as uh, anyone was not going to be very pleased to uh, write home about but uh, when Valencia have got the ball inside 63% from the two point line that looks good we're going to take a commercial uh, break here in a few seconds but this final is by far from over Alba Berlin will make the adjustments they need to make in that half time locker room they will not be shooting 25 and 33 percent in the second half, believe me. I, I think they are going to come out of this locker room. They'll be sorting the problems out now. Make sure you join us for the second half. That's, uh, that sums it up. He bases it on his defense. And, uh, you know, hats off to both him and his players. You know, with no time to prepare, you know, they've come up with, this is what we're going to do, and his players have really executed it, Nick. Yeah, and he's exactly right. I mean, the the, uh, the pick and roll from last night for Alba was working like a dream. And tonight, Valencia have just uh, completely stifled it. They've been tougher inside the paint on uh, Chubb and Sakulic and Docin and Golomac. And, and being physical with those sort of players as, as they've really backed down the first half. And that, it's up to them now to rise to that challenge and adapt their own game 
to meet the challenge of the Valencia inside players. Well, I think we, we mentioned that before the start of the game. It was, it's going to be a different proposition going up against Matt Nielsen, going up against uh, Perovic. And then when you've got players of Claver's athleticism, when you do go to the basket, you know you're going to get challenged. Well, Claver and uh, Perovic both played in the uh, European Championship final last year, so they're top caliber European players. There's no, there's no uh, two ways about it. And these players like Adam Chubb and uh, Jerika Golomac and... Uh, um, Dochin and Blagota Sekulis, they are having to rise to that challenge and, and you know what, they're good players. Well, these fans, these fans in the orange of Valencia feel they're halfway to a European title. They will become, I think, the other man for all these stats. They become the, the, the second team to win this competition twice after uh, Ritas. Yeah, Ritas won it twice. Uh, Valencia, the very first win is this tournament back in 2002. So, uh, yeah, it's it's up to them and it's up to Alba to take that title off them for the uh, proposed title. Second half action in the final of the Europe Cup. Valencia lead it 36-22. Alba Berlin trying to climb that mountain to get back in this game. Deutschen guarding Nielsen on the three-point line. Martinez who's been really quiet. Good defense there by Macro. They've got to get the rebound. No one boxed out at all. Decolo gets the layup and the work was done because they played hard and if looks could kill yeah i think pavicevic is looking around and said this is not going to be one of the nights that i will remember for a long time is it it's a tough play that's a hustle play right there and they've lost out akua comes it up comes off the screen buyers finds seklukic on the inside great rotation by valencia tremendous job seklukic had nowhere to go back down He's uh, back down absolutely oh oh dakota must have traveled Claver goes up, blocked. Now, chance for Rashad Wright. They've got three on one. They've got to score. McElroy goes up. Nielsen takes his ground, but nice finish by McElroy. I tell you what, Rashad Wright gave Manny McElroy everything to do on that play. It was another good pass. It was a slow pass, and, and Rashad Wright was so deep anyway, but better off shooting himself. Ah, uh, here we go, Valencia. Got to get a first points mark, too. Another defensive series. They've got to pull that one out the bag here. Possession by possession here for about Alba Berlin. Six seconds on the shot clock. Decolo slices through the, the, the screen. Doesn't get the roll, and Alba control it. That's, That's what they need. They need the misses from uh, shots like that, but they've got to clean up the boards, and they have done those done so this time. Well, two good defensive series. His buyers guarded by Claver comes off the screen, pulls the trigger for three. Way off. McElroy's after it, but uh, Martinez comes down. Rafa Martinez, who had an incredibly quiet first half. Piccolo calls it. This is clock management time here for uh, Valencia. Martinez gets fouled by Rashad right on the floor. Yeah, Mark, you talk about Martinez having a quiet night, and, and that's something that would worry me if I was coaching Alba Berlin. So many of these players, Claver has a quiet four points, Martinez yet to score. Uh, these players will all come alight in the blink of an eye. Well, Persavic would have been talking about uh, Valencia drying up. They only get to dry up if you can play some defense. And that's where it is now. Clever gets the ball to Matt Nielsen. Looking to go to work in the low post. Well, Dolshin gets away of a reach. Shows on the screen. Clever, oh, massive mismatch for Nielsen on there. Gets it going against Byers. Should make the hook. Doesn't. Got to come up with a rebound. Do. Great effort by Berlin that time. That's three successive series they've done an excellent job at forcing Valencia to take a tough shot yeah two misses and two defensive rebounds that's good to see now they've got to get points on the board where's it coming from I'm not sure McElroy coming off the screen finds Byers someone's going to get hot from the perimeter could be Byers hits the three yeah, gets it to an eight point game 38-30 nice start by Berlin you know Mark, I think Byers hit a three point in the first quarter didn't he? that's his second th three point of the game nine points well ball movement here Nielsen puts it on the floor, gets to a layup. You know, Nielsen's smart again. The struggle goes for a shot, he practices, puts it on the floor and penetrated hard. It's 40-30, not 40-27 as it says on the screen there. Uh, Byers all, all, almost travel, gets it to McElroy. They're getting nothing under the keyway from any of the big guys. Seklukic steps out, going against uh, Nielsen here. Seklukic tries to go to the keyway. That's not going to get him anywhere. Poor, poor shot by Sigukic. 
Well, looks yeah. a little bit intimidated. Yeah, Mark, talk about the slowness of defensive, uh, offensive post moves last night, but that was just as bad. You've got to put pressure on the defense. Foul there from uh, McElroy, got him Martinez. And this is where the frustration kicks in for these, these players. Well, uh, McElroy gets his second foul. Belief. This is the key now. This crowd. The, the Bilbao fans helping the uh, Valencia fans. They want a Spanish team to win here. This is where your belief has got to come in because plays like that are just going to break your heart. What a play. I mean, Costa Perovic looks to set the pick and roll. They divert it, fake it, goes down the baseline, down, down the weak side. They've got the defense and throws it down. This is uh, not looking good for Alba right now. Well, Byers now. Someone has got to spark this team. Byers just made the three. Going inside here. His chub. Turn around. Settles for it. It's not enough. It's Mark, where's the offensive rebound is coming from? Somebody's got to go in there and get an offensive rebound. You can't be afraid of that much of the uh, Valencia fast break. Oh, extra pass. They're trying to share it now. The Colo for three is off. And McElroy, they're not looking for any quick uh, options either. They're just they're coming down the floor, trying to be disciplined, yes, but they're 15 down and they're having to work so hard for anything. Rashad Wright finds Chubb, gets oh, a oh, finish. Adam Chubb, one for three for the night, 11 for 16 last night. I don't think he's going to shoot another 16 shots in this game. Well, if he does, they may have a chance, but uh, Piccolo got it by Wright. Get it under 10, make this Valencia team think a little bit. At the moment, they're in cruise control. Martinez for three is off. Oh, they've got to take advantage, and that's just m frustration by Byers. Well, that's what he thinks of it, too. He knows full well that that miss was important. The, the drop on the uh, rebound was just as important. Here you see, right in there. Oh, my good catch it with two hands, Mr. Byers. Now, the thing is, Martinez hasn't made a shot from the perimeter. The Colos just missed a couple, and then they're still 13 down. They've got to take every piece of advantage they can. The Colo coming off the Perovic screen. Perovic again, same play. They missed him that time. Clever pulls the trigger for three. It's off. Jenkins does a great job bailing out uh, Deutschin on the boards there because he did not. He missed the box out. Well, I love Spear. That's the second time they fake the pick and roll, Mark. That's obviously in the scout report. Reverse the ball, and the big fella down the lane. McElroy guarded by Clever. Comes off the screen, finds a little bit of space, kicks it. Deutschen's not going to shoot that. Yes, he is. Yes, well, uh, twice he will. Oh, you got it. I, I, I'm all for, I really, I have so much respect for the way that uh, this Berlin team plays, but it can't be, it cannot be an option that says, with all that talent on the floor, Deutschen shoots a three. It no. can't be the primary. There are other players on the floor who have got to work hard off the ball. They've got to take those extra steps away from the basketball to free themselves up. And they've got to get into some rhythm offensively. They're still only 13 down, though. Well, one thing, I think Deutsch is wide open because they know he can't shoot. They're going to give him that shot, uh, although he did make one the first half. And uh, we've got a whistle on yeah, the Harman. play. Huh? Oh, it's uh, Lucas Steiger in the game. Oh, Stefan Harmon with the, with the foul there. Yeah, that's his third foul. He sat down with two. He's working so hard. He just needs to find a, a way into the game. He needs to find a little bit of momentum to get his team really believing. Perovic slips to the basket. Now he's got an advantage on uh, Adam Chubb. Perovic going to work. Gets to the middle. Oh! oh, oh, oh Costa Perovic. Oh, oh, oh. Well, we talked about how many minutes he was going to play tonight. And, and the reason he's playing minutes is because there's a slow-moving body guarding him. And they just can't guard him. Costa Perovic, second dunk of the night for Valencia. Still, oh, Nilsson. Oh, what are we going to get there? That's going to be an interesting decision by the referee. Was like watching the rodeo there, wasn't it? Fell off the horse. Matt Nielsen goes flying up in the air. He says, Spahia thinks it's his foul. I don't know what they're going to call here because uh, could have been quite dangerous there in that moment. But uh, no one's hurt, so let's, let's thank for that one. Nielsen read it so well. And her man just, well, I'm not sure. Oh, the kick as well on the back of the head of Harmon. Harmon knows he's done wrong there by bending over. Nielsen gets the foul. Ten seconds on the shot clock. You've got to think, they've, got to, they've just got to start to score. And I know that we, you know, coaches, people like ourselves, we, we'll, we'll talk about the importance of defense and everything else. Yeah, they've got to play defense because they're trailing by 15 points. But they're not getting any flow to their offense at all. Every trip down the floor is hard work. Well, one thing is Valencia will switch every screen, so the pick and roll has uh, little effect. There's no low post low post offense. This is it from the three-point Jenkins point got to make, doesn't. 
someone has got a, and I keep saying someone, and I don't know who it is, because I, I don't think Pesavich will know who it is. Oh, but this he just stepped in the game, so to shoot a cold shot like that is tough, but uh, he might be the man. Nicolo finds uh, Costa Perovic at the high post. Kaladi finds him in the low post. Going to work again. Little, little jump hook. He has a repertoire, does that Costa Perovic? He's not the player you immediately talk about when you talk about Valencia. But wow, he's had two games. Big MVP numbers. He's putting up 12 points now for the big fella. He is actually dominating. 17-point margin here. Julius Jenkins steps back. He's got no one to kick to. They're all standing there looking at him. You can see the frustration. A man tries to do it himself, and he draws a foul because he was definite and aggressive in what he did. A oh, trademark move from Stefan Harmon all the way to the hoop. Pump fake gets the big guys in here. Watch this. All the way to the hoop. Doesn't panic. Jump stop. Pump fake. And uh, the big seven-footer from Serbia gets a foul. See that? And Harmon just put his head down and went hard, and he attacked the defense. And uh, at times, you need to just try to get an advantage by doing that you've got to do something different what they're doing at the moment is not working for them Golomak is in the game he has to be receiving the ball in the two-point areas not the three-point areas who do you think is the leading scorer for Albemarle? Um well Jenkins made a three I'm struggling buyers or is it Hammond? Uh, Stefan Harmon when he yeah. makes this free throw that's, that's how uh, important this man is I mean he's done it he's been very positive layups three pointer and here it is seven points Stefan Harmon leads the Alba team well if Stefan Harmon is their leading scorer they're not going to win and that's no disrespect to him other players have to come up and it's about working hard you, you, yes Valencia are playing great defense but you've got to work hard off the basketball and your teammates you have to think that extra pass now and again Nielsen goes to the jump hook no good Golmag comes down with a rebound. Haman looks to push. He's got, oh, there he pulls well, out. You're looking for a spark, and maybe uh, Stefan Harmon's got that spark. It's Jenkins, everything they're doing there is under pressure. Great defense by Valencia. Jenkins slices to the keyway. Doesn't get it. Gets his own rebound on his own in the keyway. That's the worrying part. The only man in there getting an offensive rebound. Where is the help? Somebody get in there. Well, they've got a mismatch over here. Jenkins is being guarded. Not a oh, switch back. This is uh, oh, yeah. yeah, recognized it. And they're wide open. Gulmak. That's again comes up a rebound. At least he hung around. Byers guarded by Nielsen. Well, the noise is deafening, Mark, <laughs> isn't it? You know, there's the man with the ball. That's the man with the experience. Coming off there, her man pulls up. Wants the second screen. Gets one. Tries to get to the keyway. Perovic, great defense. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Chubb, go to work and score. Oh, he falls over. He's going to get called for a travel. Good move from Chubb because he backed into Nielsen, but you know what? Nielsen pulled the chair away. He just backed <laughs> off, and that's how he fell over. It's, uh, that's, uh, it's a clinic, though. It's, it's, it's just for one for one minute, Nick. It's a clinic of how to play defense here in terms of every aspect of it. The rules, the follow the game plan. What, the, Valencia has just come up with a great defensive uh, program here in terms of how they're going to tackle this Alba team. Well, I think so. And Alba Billing doesn't have a true low post offense. As Calanti steps in the game, well, turnover. Valencia contriving to uh, keep this game close. Being well, called 15 close. Just got to start to score. They've come up with a few turnovers. They've come up with a few steals. A man finds Gormack. Puts it on the floor again. Almost turns it over. See, they've got to score an option and they've, they've got to start again. 10 seconds, 9 seconds on the shot clock. A man penetrates. Wow. Nielsen tells him, and he got everything he deserved on that move. Yeah, it's tough, isn't it? The one man trying to create things, Stefan Harmon, just uh, just had to get in there, and that's what happened. Just couldn't get the ball up high enough or quick enough. There's a guy in the cheap seats at the back behind the basket who caught that, ba who caught that basketball. Five seconds on the shot clock. Jenkins is going to throw it out of bounds. And uh, Byers, look at the body language right in the head front down. of the screen, head down. Now Marinovic is in the game and uh, he's just licking his lips. Well, he sees numbers for him here. 46 31. It's a good job, Valencia's uh, percentages aren't great in this third quarter. This could have been good night, Berlin. And uh, Marinovic handles the basketball. Little show from Chubb. Marinovic going to work, gets the two. <laughs> oh dear. A procession now, Mark. I'm as worried as that sounds, and I don't want to sound pessimistic, but Alba's having all sorts of problems. They've got to get past 54. That's the lowest 
points uh, total in any uh, final of the Euro Cup or Ulev Cup. That's not right at all. A man kicks it. Bias knocks away. That will be off his leg. And Victor Claver with a quick hands knocks it off. Jose Simeon there on the bench for uh, Valencia. If things carry on like this, he'll have some playing time in the fourth quarter. Well, Mark, it's going to go wrong. It, it's gone wrong, hasn't it? You could not. Look, we're in the, the 29th minute, 30th minute of this game, and they have 31 points. See, Valencia haven't really lit it up, have they? They only have 48 themselves. Jenkins well, causes that, another turnover. And, and you know, that's back-to-back -back turnovers for them, so it's not like they're, they're firing all cylinders. If this was an even game and the two teams playing decently well, they'd be close got to look at finding another way and there's a man gets a layup because they did something a little different a little bit early in the uh, offense there they've got to change what they're going to do if they're going to get back in this 15 down it's not a done deal here at all it's only 15 they get a stop and a score and we're back to where we were at the start of the quarter Kalati gets the screen from this chip Marinovic his danger and we've got a whistle. Travel. Travel for the Marinovic. Third turnover at every third uh, trip down the floor. Now notice, Mark, when they go pick and roll at the high post, is a travel from Marinovic. Does he move that left foot? Oh, not much of it. <laughs> Tell you what, that was a close call. Wow, 10 seconds now in the quarter. What uh, Albert Berlin wouldn't give to score now to turn it over. Gilmack saves it. No time left. Oh, it's a foul. And uh, don't know what the team foul situation is. Petrus fouls. Yeah, Petrus there, a the bad foul. Really, Golomac is not going to score from way out. Look how far Golomac has to go back to get the ball. Just back off then. Uh, wasn't much of a foul either. Well, they've got a catch and shoot here. One second left in the third quarter. Jenkins catches, turns, shoots. And it's no good. 48-33. Neither team in that quarter really set the world alight, but uh, what a, but the defense from Valencia has just suffocated the Alba Berlin team. They trail it by 15, 12-11 in that quarter. It's not done yet. Berlin just need a run. We'll be back after this break. Welcome back to Victoria. Three referees just exchanging their last uh, few words there. They've had a good game, the three officials. They've kept on top of everything. But uh, what they have been uh, officiating is, is a tremendous Valencia performance. Mick, 15 points. What do Berlin have to do? Well, it's uh, we've been harping on about it. They've got to put the ball in the basket for sure. They've got to get some consistency in their offense. They've got nothing inside. You know, Sekulic, uh, Adam Chubb is 27 points last night. It's not happening tonight, is it? Look at that, 33 points in three quarters, the lowest. Every quarter they set an all uh, a Euro, uh, Euro Cup uh, final record. They're trying to get to 54. Otherwise, they're going to break Girona's record from two years ago. But they've got to get some uh, consistency out of their play. And, and right now, everything's around Stefan Harmon, the veteran for Alba. Well, 12 points is what Valencia had in that quarter. If, if, uh, if Berlin can keep them to 12, that gets them to 60. They can't, they, surely they can't have another quarter like the first three. They've got to repeat that performance defensively. That may give them a chance to get right back in this. Jenkins comes off the screen. He's just got to light it up, I think. He's got to get himself going. Jenkins doesn't get the drop. Huge rebound by uh, Victor Claver. Well, you're right, Mark. He had the jump shot. You know, the problem with that offense is nobody, hardly anybody touched the ball. It was just Jenkins, and that was it. Rashad Wright yet to score in the game. Oh, Kalati guarded by Jenkins. Uh, there's uh, Sakukic in the game. He's got the, probably got the better offensive lineup in the game. Oh, Kalati. Tough, shot. tough, tough shot. shot. They're making tough ones like that. And that's the difference, Mark, isn't it? Down the other end, tough shots don't go in. This end, it's a little bit more confidence. Marinovic picks up a foul on the halfway line on Rashad Wright. Not a great place to foul. Well, again, it's, you've, got to, you've got to try and set yourself some objectives and some targets and make them chunkable and achievable. If they can get to 40 points and be 12 down... I like they, that word, chunkable. Chunkable. <laughs> <laughs> they can get to 40 points here, so it's 50-40 or 52-40. They might start to believe. Golmax giving them nothing today. Seklukic sets the screen for right. Why didn't you stop and shoot the basketball? Seklukic going to work. That's offensive. Push off and uh, Marinovic... Falls over, a little bit of acting, but Seklukic extended his arm. The problem is, Mark, you know, 33 points, 30 minutes, you know, they're not quite sure 
the confidence is gone. I mean, it's uh, now they've got to build the confidence up before they can start getting on even footing with the Valencia team. And now the crowd's getting into it. They can smell it. What are we, 8.50 away from uh, a gold medal here? Well, Jenkins sits down as well, Mick. And so we've been talking him up as the answer, and he sits down. Well, here's Marinovic. Finds Kaladi. Extra pass. Let's check his foul. And he will go to the free throw line. Yeah, Jerika Kolomac there, you know, could have played much better defense, maybe squaring up. I think he turns his body at the last minute, or he goes to block it. There's no way that's going to happen, is it? Well, Kolomac has tried to play this game athletically, and he's just not athletic. So he's trying to block shots, he's trying to put it on the floor. And, and, and Pesaric is taking a timeout. Now, he's extend the defense. Dushan, this is a final. I mean, this is a great opportunity for Berlin. They can't go in this in this situation and uh, just lay down and die, and they're not going to. Well, if you look at the way uh, Bilbao played the third and fourth game and the semi-final, Bilbao had little defenses up their sleeves. Now, I'm not sure Alba have any defenses up their sleeves to uh, call on. They haven't looked at a zone yet. Maybe Pavicevic won't go to a zone. 15 down, it, 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 you know, you do or die in the fourth quarter. You've got to go with your man-to-man. -man. But you're right, Mark. Extend down the floor, but looking at the way they played half-court defense, I don't see it happening because there is no pressure at half-court. So how can you get pressure at full court? Wow. Time out for Berlin. Let's see if they can make a change in this fourth quarter. Well, Berlin in this timeout. If it's full court pressure or even a trap or something, the trouble is if they rotate and leave someone open, Valencia just have so... Valencia have got to miss some shots. And I, and I think the other way, Berlin have to run down the floor and take some early shots. They can't be too disciplined now. This is where, like, if we make some, we, they've tried to run that way and they've scored 33. Let's go down the floor and just run and try and make some early ones. Well, you talk about Valencia missing shots. I mean, the first quarter they score 11 points, the third quarter they score 12. They've had their two quarters of missing shots. I don't think it's going to happen the fourth quarter. Well, this shit gets a friendly roll on the free throw. If he makes this, we've got a 20-point game with 8.40 to go. Mark, Nightmare you, you, scenario you, for Berlin. You need to come with my math lessons. Oh, yes, I... Okay, 19-point <laughs> game. Well, 20, 19. And an offensive <laughs> rebound. And they're on the floor. And it's going to be... Oh, oh thank you. Roll, almost. Roll the ball for Alba. Rashad Wright, zero points so far. They've only been to the free throw line five times. That tells you a story in itself. Byers guarded all over the floor. Petrus on the dead in stance, he's such an athlete. Byers puts it on floor, and they're going to call a foul on uh, Petrus as uh, Byers went to the basket. At least and that's the part of basketball I'm not quite happy about. Look at this, it's one-on-one, -on -one, four guys standing around, and you've only had eight seconds of a shot clock. Now, you can do that at the end of a shot clock. Yep. And uh, everybody gets a touch that way. Yeah, the the ball, defense a bit more. The ball's just sticking too much. It's in one place. It's in one place again here, right? Everyone knows where it is. The ball movements, guys. These guys in the Valencia defense are just ready and still. They're playing the next pass. Gormack, no shot. Rashad Wright, guarded by Claver. That's a tough matchup. Is he going to get a shot away against Claver? Has to step back. Wow, makes a three. Now they've got to start taking some shots. They've got to. They've only given him two for that. First points of the night, and what a tough shot, Victor Claver, the uh, the athletic super jumping uh, Victor Claver, almost got the shot. Uh, 31, 30, 51, 35, 16 point margin. Get another couple of stops, get it to 10. I'm trying to get the ball to Kalati. There it is, he got the ball. Had to work hard for it. McElroy, probably the better defensive player in the Albert team. Guard Kalati from way downtown. Great job on the glass by Seklukic. Gets his own, he gets a rebound there. No, They've got to push. Someone's a worm turn mark. Slowing down again. I hope they got enough time to play at this place. Are they going to keep uh, Valencia pointless for the rest of the game? Rashad Wright gets to the keyway, throws an air ball. Wants a foul, no foul there. Marinovic. Well, that was the shot he had to make, wasn't it, to get the run moving, and he missed it. Uh, Marinovic steps it out. Pasavic wants the foul. I don't know if people say if it comes out and he's that bad, he's probably been hit, but... Uh, well, we'll see. Oh, extra pass. Petrus will finish his foul down one. Well, the problem, Mark. Derek Byers on the weak side goes charging out to the three-point line, leaving Petrus wide open under the basket. That was the rotation that killed him on that play. Uh, my maths is all right. You know, it's going to be 19 if he makes this. <laughs> You're working hard I'm now. working hard. Saklukic in the game. 
Fourth foul. Golomets sits down. I'm not sure if there's an answer. There's enough talent there, but I'm not sure if they have the answers today. Pietras is good from the three throw line. Makes it a 19 point margin again. 54-35. Three minutes into this, they've only made the three pointer that uh, Rashad Wright made. Here he Emmanuel uh, McElroy comes off the high post screen for Sikulic. Doyson. Oh, almost a turnover. So there's nine seconds on a shot clock and they still haven't got the ball below the foul line. Rashad Wright guarded by Lischuk. Go past him. And the help's good. Wide open is Doyshin again, though, for three. Good job on the glass this time, though. Siklukic gets it. Just touched the rim. Now the shot clock's gone off, but it just tipped the back of that rim. They'll get another offense. They've got to get something a little bit earlier than this. It's only six minutes 30 to go. Doyshin. Rashad Wright, nice first step, and there's a foul called on uh, from Pitzles. And you know what, they won't worry about that too much, although Rashad Wright missed a little jump shot, didn't he? And I'm, points. I am, I'm, I'm really struggling to work this out. They run all that offense to end up with a Deutsching three. And uh, that's, uh, that just can't be right. Well, I'm impressed with Valencia because they are, they know the players they can leave open, and Deutsching, Dragon Deutsching's one of those players. You leave him open, you know, you're tempting him to shoot, and uh, it, it, it's working, the plan is working very well. Well, it's just hats off to Valencia. This, uh, we can talk about how much Berlin are struggling. They're struggling because Valencia are just doing a great job. Pure and simple. Another steal. Marinovic. They walk it up the floor. Rashad right there just uh, got the penetration. The deflection on the pass, though, turned it over. Marinovic comes off of Nielsen's uh, high post screen. They go inside this chick who can't handle it. He's not quite the size of Perovic, who uh, got the same pass earlier on. 54 35. So, uh -huh. Well, he's got about another four or five minutes to work the game, I think, and uh, he can relax a bit, although I know he probably won't. Rashad Wright kicks that one after Marinovic's uh, foul. And Mark, that offense was going to the hope too. You know, again, two or three seconds. Pick and roll that really wasn't there. There's was no screen. And now Marinovic plays as good a defense as you can get against that. Picks up a foul. Yeah, and if uh, Bayer sits down, 54-35. Well, I think pa Pavicevic doesn't know which five is his strongest five right now, which is the worst place to be as a coach. Who are your players are going to do the job? Jenkins is back in. And, it, and it, obviously Jenkins has been a little bit restricted by the concussion. But uh, Seklukic gets it deep, but they just rush it. Didn't allow him to establish position. Rashad Wright fires one. Is off. Wow. <laughs> Claver, where was he when he pulled that rebound down? Got his jumping boots on. Look at this. We are going to struggle to get anywhere near 54 points for Alba. They, uh, they're going to struggle to get the 40 at this rate. Wilson for two and one. Tough move. Tough and he's, move. This is about the fourth time he's made the same move. Well, you know, I think what's great about this move is just a soft touch. Use the backboard. You know, so many players neglect to use the old school type of use that glass. That's what it's there for. 35-56. It's, it's one of those, uh, the ecstasy that they felt last night, Alba. And uh, the nightmare that is now, is that what they're feeling? It's, it's such... A difficult place to be with 5.20 to go. Mark, 25 points is the biggest margin in the final. 79-54, Juventus battle owner over Girona. I wonder if that's going to get broken today. Well, Manny Nilsson makes the three-point play. It's up to 22 points. Savage still trying to work the sideline. He's got his uh, man in the game now. Emmanuel McElroy. Comes off Doshin, screened as a man, gets it to Doshin again, puts it on the floor, nowhere to go, he's got to find someone, a man's out of bounds. Unbelievable, unbelievable, you cannot have a poor game, I said, look at this, the nails are getting chewed now, it is, uh, oh my word, you know, how many fans are sitting back in the O2 Arena in Berlin, just uh, head in hands? Well, they're probably head in hands, head in beer, and uh, it's, uh, they've, they've got to hang on to the positive here, Berlin, when it comes to sitting down after this. Marinovic from in front of the Alba bench. He was closer to the bench than he was anywhere else. Now's a three. 25 point margin, 60-35. And I think the celebrations are not too far away from starting in this one. Well, it's just this enjoy the performance. A man gets to the keyway. Deutschland with the other, he's, he's had more shots and he's made one eventually. Makes the three, gets him to 38 points. Deutschland hits the three, 60-38. 22 point margin, 4.20 to go.
Matty Nilsson. Marinovic passes up one. Martinez, you still, I uh, can't remember, I've seen a lot of Valencia basketball, I can't remember Martinez going pointless from like this, and his team still wins, 60-38. Yeah, very true, 0 for 4 from the three-point line. Oh, extra pass, McElroy's wide open, turnover, Claver on the break, behind his back, showtime, no yes. back sit out. It is indeed, it will be showtime, somebody's going to throw one down in a minute to remember, give a dunk to remember, look, Alvich has given up now, that's it. Well, we've still got 3.50 to go. Clever pulls the trigger for three, doesn't get the drop, McElroy who's got lots of pride, this is where Berlin have to really dig in and say look, we may have lost it but we're going to play hard for the last 3.30, we're not going to finish our season on such a down as this, McElroy is, hits nothing, Perovic helps his MVP quest Mark, with another number. I'm going to give you another stat right now. The, the team that's won the European Cup, this ULEB Cup, has not scored six in the 60s before. So uh, Valencia set records last night. He's setting another record tonight for the least number of points needed to win. Oh, oh what a pass. Look oh, away, pass. Get in there. Perovic with a little scoop. There's your Time out for Alba. And Matty Nilsson does it all. MVP look away, pass. And what do you think, Mark? MVP, MVP, I would give it to him every week. Perovic or Nilsson? Well, I'd give it to Nilsson because he does everything. Perovic had a great game. It's not, let's not underestimate the game. But if this is the play we've just seen, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby. Here you go. And heart and sight. He is the heart and soul. The best acquisition I think Valencia have made when they brought Matty Nilsson from Ritas. What a tremendous performance by Valencia. Great preparation. They are literally just choking Alba's offense. Mick, 62-38. These fans, look at these pictures. And they, I know in, in the summer they'll sit down and say, we had a great time in Vittoria. We made the final. What a performance, etc." But at the moment, they are just hating every second. Despair written across these fans' face. And don't forget, they've got 40 hours on a bus, Mick. <laughs> With Coach Pavicevic at the front. <laughs> I tell you what, I think one of the worst things, Mark, is you make a final and you don't perform. Now, you, you forget the elation of the semi-final is, is gone and dusted. That is a distant memory. You don't come to a final and choke. Well, 24-point lead. Maddie Nielsen still standing in the middle of the court here, directing operations. Here's a man. He will not lie down. It's not about winning now for Berlin. The Kohler back in the game, just when you thought it couldn't get any worse. Julius Jenkins. Adam Chubb trying to actually play with some pride here. Gets to the middle, is fouled. Well, Mark, first quarter, I think the score was 11-10, and we joked about a 44-45 finish. But look at that Alba score. I mean, they're not, they're gonna get, they're not even going to get close to 50. Well, Chubb made a definite move that time, and that's what's been missing. For more than anything else, they just have not been very decisive or definite in what they're trying to do. You know, they've tried to be disciplined, but they've run patterns and... Valencia have just taken them out of what they wanted to do. It's taken people, you know, now and again, someone's got to really make a definite move. Chubb made a more aggressive move then, gets to the free throw line, 62-40. Maddie Nielsen relieves any pressure, gets it to Dakota. Maddie Nielsen. Kaladi, little spin, guarded by Julius Jenkins. Nielsen in the post, kicks it back. Clay there, puts it on the floor. Dakota in the corner, waits. Now's one, no he doesn't. Rebound, Chubb, Jenkins. 2.20 to go. Jenkins tries to get to the hoop. Great defense by Kaladi. Well, everywhere stopped, isn't it? No penetration in that blue area. Extra pass, Gil Mack with his feet set, makes the three. 43-62, they get it. And the survivors survive, and they're still not happy. Have a beef at the referees there. He's going to win a European title. He's got to enjoy the moment now and again. Dakota over his little showtime path. Nilsson, uh, not surprising, comes up with a steal. Dakota had uh, Perovic wide open. Didn't want to give him the ball. Oh, the flicking pass is all over there. Nilsson for three is no good. Kleber's all over the offensive rebound. Gets it to Dakota. 1.40 to go. Oh, well, it, I mean, this would annoy me as Pavicic. Look, Pavicic was almost walking on the floor. wants to play defense himself. And he was a great guard in his time. Oh, he was a tremendous player. He's not going to enjoy it. He, uh, his pride is going to be really hurt now. His personal pride. He, he literally is on the court. Perovic going inside. Will score. 
and it's fouled and the basket's good yep they will give the two and one because uh, the ball wasn't going to go in but uh, knocked away on its downward cycle <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Whoa, unbelievable, Mark. What scenes. What scenes. And uh, it will not be music to his ears. Oh, the, you can see the orange shirts in the background. That picture sums it up. The Bill Bell fans, you can see them sitting on the far side. They're appreciating the black shirts there. They're appreciating the win of a Spanish team. This is where they wanted to be. In a final, celebrating a win. 65-43. Valencia are going to be the Euro Cup champions for 2010. And they're playing in next year's Euro League. And talking about Euro League, Mark, I think it's important. It's probably both these teams could qualify for the EuroLeague out of their own leagues but out of the two teams the easier task is probably with Alba Valencia's got an incredibly difficult task to get to the uh, EuroLeague next year out of their own league well the rest of the Spanish clubs though are probably very well, rooting for them too because <laughs> yeah, that's right. yeah, if they get the EuroLeague spot they'll still get the spots out of their uh, out of their own league so there could be four Spanish teams playing in the EuroLeague next year so uh, that's, uh, that means that uh, beneath them there'll be another three or four trying to qualify for this competition. <laughs> so you make the playoffs in Spain, you're playing in this competition. They're still over on the bench there, jumping around like a Petrus. <laughs> Nielsen comes over, you know the party's going to start now. Well, uh, Nielsen is the heart and soul of every team. Well, he'll be a member of that, or hopefully be a member of that Australian national team in the World Championships this year, but... Uh, for this moment in time as the long three is um, embarrassingly in there anything except the bank was closed <laughs> that was uh, yeah way off wasn't it the young fella there coming in the game and uh, Dilmak fancies back to back threes doesn't get them little rebound by the youngster well 65 points to win a game in a, in a final is uh, is enough but, if you uh, play this much defense, it's definitely yeah, enough. But 44 points will not win you many games at all. 65-44. Okay, Berlin have struggled. They've struggled as Kalani gets a little alley-oop. They've struggled because Valencia have just played phenomenal defense. They've played with phenomenal effort. And they have just come up with a phenomenal team effort. Hats off to Coach Svahar. And there you see... It's both players embrace, it's a final, everyone should be proud of being here, but the 2010 Europe Cup champions are Power Electric Valencia from Spain. Let the celebrations begin. What an absolutely tremendous performance. Mick, sum them up. Well, what a great team. And, and, and coming into the game, I said before, how good is this team? We've seen them all season long. We've seen them lose a couple of games. But you know what? This team has got depth, strength, agility, athleticism, and they can play basketball as well. Wow, Valencia celebrating on the court here in Vitoria. They are the 2010 Europe Cup champions. They have beaten Alba Berlin in the final game. They have shown what a great team they are. A tremendous performance. 2010 Europe Cup champions. Uh, we, Mick, I, 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 what a privilege to watch a, t a coach prepare a team in such a small space of time. And they've brought their talent, but they've brought their effort, and they have come away victorious. Coach Bahar and Valencia are the Europe Cup champions. We're going to get a chance to get some reactions courtside. We're going to have that difficult interview first. We're going to get the chance to hear what Julius Jenkins thinks of the performance and the result. And whatever we say, let's just think for a moment here about uh, Alba Berlin. Tremendous performance last night. Great effort. And I hope that Coach Pasevich, when they sit down and think, that uses this to take this program onto the heights that he wants to take them to. They'll have to try and hang on to him and they'll have to try and hang on to players. But they've shown uh, Europe that they are not far off competing at the top levels. And I'm sure I would hope that Julius Jenkins reflects that when he has that difficult t task of trying to speak to the uh, to Danny Coulthard. Yeah, it's not going to be easy for him, that's for sure. But uh, hopefully uh, Julius will uh, be brave and uh, say what he feels. And here he is, Julius Jenkins. We're scoring 44 points, I guess it's just impossible to beat Valencia. Uh, we, we didn't come out and play our game. You know, um, our offense, I think we rushed a lot of stuff. And uh, I give 
credit to them. They played good defense too. And um, on our defense, it, we wasn't even out there today. They scored anytime they wanted to, and that's why they came up with a win. I'm sure you will try next season. Yes, you know we gotta keep going. We still got our season ahead of us, and uh, we gotta look forward to whatever we play in next season to, to try to make it back to the finals again. Okay, thank you very much. Julius James obviously disappointed and we're going to get a chance to speak to the Euro Cup Young Player of the Year, Victor Clever. Uh, had the privilege to watch this guy grow up as a player, saw him play under 16 basketball, under 18 basketball, now a member of the Euro Basket winning Spanish national team. His thoughts at the moment though will be with these fans and Victor Clever is a product of the Valencia club, a product of the system in Valencia. And uh, we're going to get a chance to hear what he says in a few moments. But he, he would be one of those players who would really love this. If you come for a junior program like he has, winning these sorts of competitions, he is a tremendous prospect still. And we're going to get a chance to hear him talk to Danny Courtside. Here he is. This is, uh, we are the winners of this competition. And it's a really important competition. And we've done a, a very good job all year. And now we're going to celebrate. And we'll be a Euro League team next year. It's a great surprise and we really have to enjoy it. Wow, just a very, very happy young man, Mick. Well, wonderful sentiments and he, he's almost, he's, he's in, his youthfulness was coming out there as he saw some funny things behind him with the uh, the champagne bottles being opened. Here's Thomas Calati. First of all, uh, Valencia was just better. for a few years here on Eurosport 2 and he's grown as a player hasn't he? Well here we go again we're going to get another interview called side and it is uh, Dakota. This was an ambition at the beginning of the year. And it's uh, great for the club, great for the team. And next year we are going to be in the EuroLeague, another great challenge. Let's take a moment now, Mick, as uh, Alba Berlin collect their runners-up medals. What a tremendous performance by this club to make this final. Well, second uh, European final for the uh, Alba team, 1995. They won the Korac Cup in the old days, so this is the, the next one since then, 13, 15 years on. So they, the fans back home can be very proud. The fans that didn't make the journey, who are sitting back at the O2 Arena watching this, and I think there'll be a, some sort of a sense of achievement. They didn't perform in the final, that's for sure. But uh, hats off to them. Well, they didn't perform in the final. They had a great semi semi-final win, and uh, maybe one game too many. They just couldn't really raise their game again. They couldn't raise their game though, because Valencia just came out with a tremendous team performance. But. I'm sure when they sit down in the summer and they evaluate this season, they will be uh, proud of what they've managed to achieve as a club and what they've done for German basketball. We're going to get a chance here to hear, to hear Coach Pasevich and his thoughts on the game. Valencia was on their level, and I think that we were not on the level that we should be.
professional, great sentiments from uh, Coach Vasavic. While that interview was on, we just got the, you saw Matty Nielsen be named the MVP of uh, this Euro Cup final. And I, and I would 100%, and I think we both agree, Mick, what a performance by Matt Nielsen. Well, I think it's over two games, two, seven points, six rebounds tonight, but yesterday's game, that no-look pass tonight, you know, everything revolves around him, the heart and soul, and fully deserved, there's no doubt about it, you know, other players might have put better performance in tonight, maybe last night, but overall, he's uh, a warrior. And uh, now that he presents the individual medals to the Valencia lineup. These youngsters will remember this, being at games like this when you're that young, seeing your team win. Now that'll be the thing that uh, you always remember. Kosta Perovic getting his medal. He must have been a real candidate for that MVP, MVP comp, uh, position. Thomas Kaladi. And uh, what a great thing for the, uh, the sponsors as well. The first year with the team Power Electric Valen uh, Valencia. And uh, well, this something got this team turned on tonight, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Unbelievable performance. We should have said that earlier on, but uh, <laughs> we're saving it all season. Saving it up all season. And the banners is one of the things about Spanish bath. The banners are uh, the tradition. The Colo had a great semi-final. Led the fleeing team really well tonight. Without the real highlights from the three-point line. Some of the support staff getting their uh, well-deserved medals, the assistant coaches, and Coach Spaha. What a tremendous performance to remain competitive in the ACB, their fourth for the moment, and win a European competition. They, uh, they must work so hard in practice to be able to produce every single week. And there's, these are the pictures that will go around Europe. Now some nice family shots there, some of the players with their families on the uh, podium there. And uh, traditionally, they will step up as one after they have been given this trophy. And Matty Nielsen is one of the two, and Victor Kleber will receive the Europe Cup trophy for 2010. And Power Electrics Valencia are the 2010 champions and worthy champions of what has been a tremendous. Euro, Euro Cup season on Eurosport 2. Every single week these games have been of the highest quality and a very fitting champion in Power Electrics Valencia. I thought, I thought the volcanic ash had come this far south from it there, Mark. <laughs> Some of those German fans were worried about the bus getting back with that, but... Uh, it, 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 it's, it's, it's not just about the one game, obviously winning the final, but Valencia have come through some really tough games. We've seen them a number of times on Eurosport, Eurosport 2. And one of the things that Kaladi says, their spirit as a team has brought them through some tough games. Now, interesting thing, you know, Kaladi was almost Olympiacos player at the beginning of the season, but failed a medic in a team where he feels as comfortable as that. You don't often find that at the pro level, where your, your friend's off the court. That's very exceptional. So it all adds to team chemistry and cohesion on the floor. And this team, you know what? in EuroLeague next year, you better watch out. One more addition here or there, and it could be a very, very good team. Well, it'll be really interesting to see who they who they do um, line up. It also means that they're, if you're a Spanish club trying to make the playoffs, there's an extra space now to make the Europe Cup if, uh, as Valencia will go into the EuroLeague as the Europe Cup teams in both competitions. That's not good news for the rest of Europe with the power of the ACB. Well, there could have been three teams in this final four. If you take Gran Canaria, almost missed out in the quarters. You know, really, Bill Bauer should have been in this final, you know, but they got upset last night, but Alba has never Spahia there, is walking around asking the players to go and support the, uh, salute the fans nice moments well, it's, uh, there's Baha clutching the fans, we're going to take a commercial break now, we'll be back with some more reflections on what's been a tremendous cup final <laughs> 